Right now, we have got uh, one of my favorite guys, just a great all-around dude, Mr. George Decay on the phone. Good morning, George. Good morning, Billings, Montana, and Big J. It's fantastic to talk to you uh, again. We talked to you uh, a few uh, a, qu- a while ago, I guess, for your uh, for your cartoon that you were doing, Super Ninjas. Oh yes, Nickelodeon's Super Ninjas. Yes, how's that going? It's doing well. Uh, we're now waiting for our pickup for the next season. We should be hearing imminently. We hope. <laughs> Excellent. Well, very cool. And But this is news that has been confirmed. Now, The Celebrity Apprentice, you are officially on the new season, which premieres February 12th. Is this? Uh, have you always been willing to do this? Did they have to talk you into this, or how did they lock you down for this season? Well, they courted me. Um, I didn't know what it was all about, but uh, one of the uh, casting people from uh, the show uh, invited me to have uh, lunch at the Polo Lounge at the Beverly Hills Hotel. And I'm always game for that. So I showed up, had a lovely lunch, and uh, he uh, started describing the show to me. And I thought, oh, it's a reality show. And then he said, it's the uh, Celebrity Apprentice. And I've been watching uh, uh, Donald Trump's uh, Apprentice show, not Celebrity Apprentice, but the Apprentice show from the time that it began, uh, yay, these many years ago, about, what, seven, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I knew... um, what he was talking about, but he said this time we're doing it as uh, with celebrities. And um, then he said, uh, and I knew, you know, about this aspect too, but I never really seriously thought about it, but he said uh, this is for charity. And there's a charity that's very near and dear to me, and uh, particularly in this economy, it's difficult to, uh, uh, well, the uh, giving has kind of thinned out. So I immediately said, uh, yes, I'll do it. Uh, with that kind of uh, uh, chance of, of getting a, a huge hunk of a contribution for my charity, which is the Japanese American National Museum, oh. I was uh, one of the founders and the chairman of the board uh, uh, quite some time ago, and I'm still on the board of trustees. Very cool. And so I agreed to do it, and so it was an easy seduction. They they got you. They, that's all they had to say was give give money to something near and dear to George's heart, and he's on board. Where, tell us a little I'm bit about, board. about the uh, the museum because you're for people that don't know a, a lot about you. Your family went through. I mean, you were in internment camps, and I mean, went through a whole right. whole struggle. And so you're very respectful of, of your heritage. It's very important to you and and everything you've been through and that your family went through. And is the the museum kind of a celebration of the uh, the Japanese American people? It is. Uh, you know, it tells us a classic story of uh, immigrants coming to this country. I mean, this, this is the nation of immigrants, you know, the uh, uh, Italians coming, the Polish coming, uh, uh, all of the various people coming. Uh, and But what makes this museum unique is right after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, this nation was swept up in war hysteria, and innocent American citizens who happened to be of Japanese ancestry were summarily rounded up with no charges, with no trial, with no due process, and put in these barbed wire internment camps in some of the most hellish places in the country. And uh, One of them was here yeah. in Montana, Hart Mountain, I believe, was That's here in Montana. Right. Yeah. In fact, uh, we, uh, we've been developing a, a musical aimed at Broadway um, called Allegiance, uh, and it's localed in that uh, internment camp, oh, Hart huh. Mountain, Wyoming. Uh, so, and that's going to be opening in San Diego th- uh, this coming summer. And then we go from uh, San Diego to Broadway uh, later this year in the uh, winter. Uh, so, yes, so it's very relevant to uh, the Montana story, but it's a story that's relevant to all Americans because it happened to Japanese Americans. But it also, the thing that was most violated was the U.S. Constitution, and not enough Americans know how fragile our Constitution is. And so that's why this story is so important. And it's been my mission in life to raise the awareness of what can happen uh, to other Americans when uh, this nation you know, is swept up in hysteria. Mm-hmm. And uh, so this has been a project near and dear to my heart. And this was an opportunity, uh, Celebrity Apprentice was an opportunity to raise some money for it, as well as raise awareness uh, of it. 
so I leaped at the opportunity. Excellent. That's, I mean, it's a great reason to be on the show, for sure. How did you, uh, what did you think of some of the other cast members? Did you make good friends with, with any of the other cast members? Well, one of them was a, a good friend from before, uh, Lisa Lampanelli, who um, I love has Lisa an image Lampanelli. of being rather bawdy and brassy. <laughs> Definitely. But she's really, you know, quite the, the real Lisa is the opposite of uh, that, her public image. She's a very sweet and sensitive lady, um, easily moved by touching situations or um, easily hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, tears well up in those great big brown Italian eyes of hers. And she's also very generous. When she found out that I, I love tea, she uh, sent over a, um, an English tea set. You know, so she's that kind of gal. Yeah. But uh, on the show, she is her... Uh, uh, public image, uh, body, tough, Lisa Lampanelli. Um, but there are people, you know, I found out a lot about the, these people that have images that's quite opposite uh, their, uh, I mean, images that are opposite their real personalities. Like, for example, Lou Ferrigno. The you Hulk. know, he was the Incredible Hulk. You know, great, big, huge, uh, uh, muscled Mr. America and Mr. Universe. Mm -hmm. uh, he's rather insecure and very uh, um, sensitive. Ooh. And uh, I, I, I was kind of taken aback by that because he's such a impressive hunk of uh, muscles. As a matter of fact, he had to take his shirt off right in front of me at one point. For you and, or for the uh, show? For the, uh, <laughs> uh, he had to take a sh you know, change shirts. Oh, okay. uh, and a quick change uh, uh, during the course of the show. Oh, no, not for me. <laughs> He's very straight. Okay. But I'm not. And when he took his shirt off, I couldn't help but say, oh, my. <laughs> uh, he, is, he's, he's... he is, I mean, he's in his mid-60s, and he is impressive. Uh, I mean, a mountain of uh, slabs of muscles. Oh my. He's an amazing guy. He works out every day. What about Penn Jillette? you got to maintain that. Does Penn Jillette have a pretty rocking body as well? Or, uh, we, <laughs> it rocks when he moves, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he is a very rotund guy. Yes, but, he is. Uh, I, I mean, I, he's a guy that I really uh, was impressed by, have great admiration for, and I fell in love with his mind. I he, mean, he, he is a walking encyclopedia. He is so well read and so well informed, but beyond that, you know, I'd never seen him perform, and uh, I knew about Penn and Gillette, but I really uh, discovered, and I, he's the one that I have the greatest respect for from the uh, from the show. He is also being, uh, despite um, he's well informed, mm -hmm. and he can be a great big huge ego. But he's also very thoughtful and considerate of other people. Something that I didn't find in any any of the other people here. Excellent. You know, they're all driving, competitive, uh, uh, self-propelled people. Competitors but for sure. Well, George, they're actually, competitors. George, we've got to let you go, but we want to see you compete. We're all rooting for you, all of us anyway. Celebrity Thank Apprentice you. premieres February twelfth. George Decay, you're an inspiration. You're hilarious. I love talking to you. Thanks so much for taking the time, George. Have a great morning. Good fun. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye. Oh, my. Bye. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I love George Dickens. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings' number one hit music station. Hot 101.9.